Good day, folks. Today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Jumpin'. This game comes from the 3M Bookshelf series. It came out in 1964, and it is for two players. Now, Jumpin' is yet another strategy game from the 3M Bookshelf series, and they've got a lot of really good ones. The object of this game is you're trying to get um, a set of metal pawns from one side of the board to the other. It plays similar to Chinese checkers in this way. However, the movement rules are quite different. The only way you're able to move is you have to be able to jump over pawns. And this game is rather interesting because you simply can only move if you're jumping pawns. So let me go ahead and show you how this game works. Okay, folks. Uh, here is the game. I'm going to just show you the components real quick. And again, there's not that many. Uh, the main components you have here are your silver and gold pawns. Now, these pawns are made of metal, and they're really, really nice. Unfortunately, they're not real silver or real gold. Of course, you have the game board over here. It's made of pretty good plastic, and then you have the storage area right over here. Now, the object of this game is you're trying to get this set of pawns to this side or this set of pawns to this side, depending on which color that you are playing. And the way you're going to be doing this is you're going to be jumping pawns. So, for example, if silver were to go first, silver could do something like this, then gold can go, and then do something like this. Now, one of the unique rules is that you can jump over groups of pawns. So, for example, you could do something like this. Or if you had a pawn here, you could do something like that, jump over three. You could also jump over your opponent's pawn. So if you had something like this, and you had a pawn here, you could go like this, and then like this. And even jump into this area if there was a hole available. Now, the one thing that makes this game unique is that the only way you can move is to jump pawns. You cannot move a pawn like so. You have to be able to jump another pawn. Also, you can only move horizontally or vertically, you cannot move diagonally. So let me go ahead and just kind of give you some uh, jumping moves here. Here's one, and gold decides to go, he goes here. Uh, silver does this, gold decides to do this. Silver does this, and gold does this. By looking at this game by itself, it does not look that difficult, but what tends to happen is you end up getting what we call stranded pawns. Let's just say you had a pawn that was back here, for example. There is no way that this pawn can move unless it jumps somebody. So a lot of times what ends up happening is you play the game, you're going to actually have to move some of your pawns back to get the stranded pawn. So that's part of what the strategy is in this game. So uh, let's say gold does that, and then silver decides he's going to go ahead and do this. And gold does this, etc., etc. And part of the strategy is if you're trying to play defense, you may want to try to place a pawn in the hole so that they can't make a jump into it. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. Here's an example. Let's say this guy uh, just got one of his pawns up here, and on his next move, he's planning on doing this and this to get it in there. So something that silver can do is silver can just simply move one of his pieces over there, and that is going to block gold uh, from being able to move in there. So if gold were to try to do that, then silver could just simply do that. And that's a lot of the way the game works. It's just a lot of jumping and a lot of strategy kind of goes into this game. And again, the first player to get all of their pawns into the opposite side wins the game. So uh, my thoughts on this game. Well... This game is a really simple game to learn. It plays a lot like Chinese checkers with the exception that you can only jump. And uh, from the way I played this game, my wife and I really like it. Um, it's a simple game. It's a simple concept. But um, the fact that you can only move when, by jumping really makes the game a lot harder than it actually looks because you really have to be careful not to get any of these stranded by themselves. I've actually had pawns on the other side of my opponent's board. I've had to actually jump back just to try to get a lone pawn out of the way, and that can really, uh, <laughs> that can mess you up a lot. Um, but there are a couple of variants to this game. You have the regular one, and the second one I really like. Um, the second variant will allow you to keep going if your opponent wins. If your opponent ends up winning, um, you can actually count how many moves it takes to get all of your pawns in there, and then you will record them. And then you can play as many games as you like, and who ends up, whoever ends up with the lowest score out of all those games will end up winning. And again, that's my review. I hope you all have a great day. God bless.